my little premiere get to episode of Daddy or Daughter Conversations. It's me and my dad, dad. Emma. And welcome to the next episode of Daddy or Daughter Conversations. And thank you so much for joining us and always joining us. We are moving on well kindly before we start to get down there and do what we need. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about active listening skills. Yeah, ways of listening. Many people want to be heard, but few people actually do listen. We want to listen. Mm -hmm. It's because they're used to being listened to. Mm -hmm. It's good to, to, for, to have someone listen to you, but if you want some big people to listen to you, you have to listen to them. Yeah. So today, I'll, we will be teaching you active listening skills. Yeah, active listening skills. How do you ensure that you are able, you have listened to someone, and you heard them right? And uh, when you're going to talk to someone, you'd want to, that person to listen. And uh, it's a good thing to listen because when you listen, you hear more, you hear well. So today, we want to give you the tips. Tips on how to listen properly. Properly, yeah. So. Number one, we have to understand what listening and active listening is. Okay. Active listening is something that will help you to, to truly understand what the speaker is saying and for you to be able to comprehend what the speaker is saying. Yeah. So, like for example, when we when you when I when you listen when you when we talk together, we use active listening. Or mostly most of active listening skills usually happen in classrooms, but it can also happen in other things like meeting places, talking about our new idea for the next show. Yeah, relationships. Relationships. Daddy daughter conversation. Exactly. Yeah, and you listening to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so today we're going to be teaching you on how to effectively listen to people. So there's two types of, of, of list, active listening, attentive and reflective. So the first one is attentive. So the first step is to hold eye contact. When you're talking to someone, it's great to hold eye contact because it shows that you're actually listening to them. So don't like be all on your phone or look at something else. Or, like I see daddy, I wave at daddy when I'm listening to mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep eye contact. At least uh, that way you are able to communicate to the person that uh, is speaking that uh, you care about what they say and also that uh, they matter and uh, you get everything. And also eye contact helps you to look at the non-bubble to pick what it is that they're not saying. And they're saying with how they're looking at you. So keep eye contact. That communicates that you are with the person, like the way you're looking at us right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's eye contact, yes. The next step is to maintain good posture. So while we're talking to someone, don't be all scrunched up on your phone or just lay back. Mm -hmm. Sit properly. Oops this mm -hmm. like the way daddy is sitting yeah so every time you need help on how to sit properly just walk just take a screenshot right now yeah yeah you there have you to go. keep you have to keep uh, an open posture you have to uh, show the person that you are listening to them by the posture you're giving them you know face forward you know a calm look not fiddling with things not even uh, you know holding yourself back like this it communicates that you're not ready to speak to the person or to listen to the person but now an open uh, arms open you know it, it gives the person the posture that this person is ready to listen to me mm -hmm. so also when you're also listening to some people um, you have to make sure that when you, your back is straight, first of all, your back is straight, your everything is straight, they can be able to make like a straight, like, whoop. Yeah, they say you're sitting squarely, so mm -hmm. you sit squarely, yeah, open posture, Where? then you lean forward, then eye contact and you're relaxed, that communicates that uh, you are ready to listen to the person. The next step of of attend to listening is mirroring body language yeah so there's different types of body language some people might use different body language by how they're feeling yeah. so let's say daddy is feeling sad daddy acts sad you're acting mad you're supposed to act sad so mirroring body language will be me like we'll say when daddy will say i said something mean to daddy now daddy is sad 
Mary modeling what you'll be like listening to that and also feeling sorry for them. So if I did say something that I made you sad, I would be sad. Are supposed to smile right No, you're not supposed to smile. You're supposed That's to be a, sad. I'm sad that you didn't listen to me. I'm sorry, Daddy. And uh, <laughs> and that's also a good and the next step is actually connected to this one um when you're when you're when you're when you're talking to someone you also have to make sure that you're also allowing the person to complete that entire thought so if i did listen if i did listen to daddy let's say daddy acts whatever you want to act like um you didn't listen to me the last time i told you about your fun but let's just say that you um, I, I interrupted him in the middle of the thing. Uh, yesterday, when I was telling you. But, but daddy, see? Daddy didn't finish his talk. His talk is so now daddy is also assume that I'm not talking to him and I'm not and I'm not being an adult daughter. Mm-hmm. And it's also mean to also, like, let's say that, like, I have a friend who is also really sad and I interrupt them every time just to say, um, Oh, you shouldn't do this. Oh, you shouldn't do this. Even though, like, your friend is doing something that you don't like or something that the little friend likes, let them finish what they're saying. Yeah, let the person finish the statement. Because, like, it's good to listen to other people because if they don't, if you don't, if they don't listen to them, if you don't listen to them, they won't listen to you. So, if the next time that your friend like comes and wants to tell people something, you won't be their go-to person to go tell them advice. Let your friends finish to, to speak what they're saying, what your friends and your bosses and everything, so that you can fully comprehend how they're feeling without making any assumptions. Make sure that you are not that person. Because trust me, that person is annoying. So, the next step after listening to attentively, now you have to do reflection. Yeah. When you do reflection, this is repeating what the speaker has said. So, Daddy, say something. Um, Lulu, you, you, you are, um, I didn't like what you said. See how I'm going to take posture with me to the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Sorry, Daddy, continue. I didn't like what you did to 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 to, to Wemma the other day. I wish you could have done better. I'm sorry about what I understand that I did something wrong to Wemma and I should have been a better sister and you're very disappointed in me. I promise I will do better. See? Repeating what the speaker had said and not adding in your own words. Like I apologize. And I put I understand and understood what Daddy said, comprehended it, and it put my own response into what he said. That is how you do a good listening. So, Daddy, you try. Uh, tell me something that I can do a reflection. Daddy, yesterday I I did like that you made me go and go get your charger, even though it was really dark outside. <laughs> It wasn't really dark outside, but it was raining and I don't like it. So, promise me that you won't do that to me again. It was really wet and I almost had a cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I noticed that uh, you did feel okay that you had to look at me from your charger as much as you that. And uh, I promise not to do that again. Thank you. See? Good job! High five! <laughs> And so that is how to listen actively. Can you try that and see how your relationships improve? Especially people who have siblings. Yeah. That will help. Yeah, try that, try that, try that, and maybe you give us a report in our next show. So that was all we had for you for today. I hope you actively listen to the show from the beginning to the end and give us your views. If you like it, if you like this, can you give me for us a comment there? Mm-hmm. And yeah. since it is Easter tomorrow, I'm really excited to tell you guys that Easter is tomorrow. This is Easter Friday. It's Good Friday. It's Good Friday today. It's Good so Friday. So as you reflect what Jesus had done for us, we also have to remember like some other people who are in Ukraine right now and everything. 
please pray for them. Pray for everyone and try to song. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup. That's French. Merci gracias, 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 gracias. And especially thank you to my friends who are probably watching this somehow. Hi, it's me. I actually got a YouTube channel now with my dad. Uh, thank you. Tema and Luli Show. Now, what do you tell them as you finish? Before we end this, we're going to give you guys two things to subscribe. Are you ready? One, One, two. two. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for subscribing. See you on my next show. Goodbye. Bye.